Hi Leo, so welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. This is your monthly horoscope for astrology. Um, this is going to be for the month of November. Let me explain how it works. I will be using the ascendant and moon sign for the prediction, and I do practice ideal um, Vedic astrology, um, Jyotish. So um, for people who doesn't know their chart, there is going to be a huge mega sale, of course, in our chart. Because this is the last time that we are going to be um, interpreting reports. So it's going to be in the description box below. It is at $50. Amazing. Go check it out. Um, again, this is, uh, this is the last time that we're making the uh, reports for chart for charts. And at the end of this video, I'll, I also have a big announcement for everyone. So stay tuned for that. There's going to be two segments for this. The career finances, and then the love and romance. And in this mix, you're going to see uh, other things, of course, but those are the scope that we're looking at. So let's start first for the Leo over here. Um, let's see what's going on in their um, career, money, and finance. Now, for the Leos, um, you tend to overcommit yourself for the month of November. You are burning the candles in both ends meaning you have committed to a side hustle, a 9-to-5 job, a blog, a YouTube channel, and a TikTok, all right? Because you have Mars in the 10th house retro. In your house of career or business, you're very active, and you got to go, 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 go. Be careful of getting burnt out. Be careful of pushing yourself to the limit. Be careful of... Um, because Mars does not stop. And I see here you have a big dream for success. Um, you can be a you know a breadwinner in your family and you wanna be able to you know give them something good for this holiday, which is very nice, right? Um the moon is in Leo right now when I'm doing uh when when my I'm interpreting the chart. So you may be actually emotional during this time, probably in the holidays. Um, so that's something that I'm seeing that very significant is um you probably will also change your career this time. If something doesn't uh, doesn't work out, because Mars is an opposing um, planet, it gives you that energy, but it also gives you enemies. All right, um, because this can be the time where you are running out of patience at work. You are, let's just say, you're the perfectionist, and other people just leave their work, you know, behind. I know there's a lot of Leos who watches me, who is like a CNA, an EMT, a nurse, or people who are in the health industry, um, and you know, like I do here that there has been some people <laughs> not filling in their charts. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm seeing the planet over here, Leo. Okay. So people who are <laughs> charting, I think it's called. I don't know. I'm just hearing it here in the in the charts. So that's something that you may get impatient. Um, one thing that you need to understand also for the Leos is that if you're an entrepreneur, there has been some stagnant, uh, um, you know, like not a constant flow with regards to money. If you are a financial advisor or a person who manages money of other people, um, you may have lost um, uh, clients. But I feel like the, some clients will new some new clients will come in, and then there's gonna be more new investment or more new people that you are gonna be managing. This is what I'm seeing. Now, inheritance wise, if you're waiting for money, um, this is gonna be the time where you will be getting it at the end of the month. You're very focused on fitness over here. When I do wealth, career, money, I always put health together with it because health is wealth. Without it, we won't be able to enjoy the things that we that we have in our life. So, um, so that's one. Um, so uh, we have Saturn in the sixth house for you, which means that you may be going into a new. Uh, let's just say you you start hiking, so cycling. Um, you're more driven to, you know, CrossFit, you know, because Saturn is hard work. We want Saturn the six. Saturn the six is very good, very good. Um, this, you know, like any kinds of illness, you will battle and you will win. Mm, it's good. Um, this is a time where you will see also any kind of chronic illness. It, you will be able to overcome it. So a good healthy body is coming to you, healthy body. Like you become more, you have more strength this time, Leo. But again, be careful of the burning out. Um, for others who want to invest in real estate and, you know, like trying to secure a new car, not the best time. This is, I feel like, a regret later on. So I do advise the Leos not to be, um, you know, biting the first, you know, like say, they say like in the first home that you will buy, you will, don't buy the house that you fall in love with. 
Because the first house that you look at and you fall in love with, it's going to be the work. It's going to be this. And it's going to be out of the budget. And it's going to put you into debt. Sixth house is debts and illnesses. Saturn here makes you pay all your debts. So this is about settling your credit card, settling any kind of loan, student loans, loan sharks, you know, anything that you you loan, basically. And if people, chance are, if people owes you money, then this is the time that they're also going to pay you. Mm -hmm. This is good. Now, um, other things that I'm seeing for the Leos is not the best time for you to travel um, because, again, I feel like there's going to be a lot of losses. The only thing that I'm seeing here to travel is family. You're going to see family. But I still see here a lot of expenses. And it may be the holiday expense. Right? So I would suggest to not to see your family in the holiday. No. <laughs> no, go you see your family in the holiday. It's okay. It's fine. Just manage your expectation because the, it will require a lot of money during this trip. All right? So um, let me pause here for now. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give you guys a big announcement that it it has uh, it has been brewing in me for the longest time, Leo. Um, I just wanna announce to everyone that this is the last video that I will be making here at Eat Read Love. Yes, it is the last video. I am saying goodbye for now. Making astrology forecasts here at Eat Read Love. Because we are having a new home. We have a new home and it's called Astro Unity. It's another channel that I'm starting. There's a lot of people already there. There's thousands of people already sub subscribed. So I hope you would subscribe into the new channel. I'll be moving the astrology forecast to Astro Unity. Now, in that channel, there's going to be a lot of things about planets, about the grahas, you know, about different, um, different astrologies also going to be there. Um, it's going to be a learning channel and there's going to be forecasts. There's going to be horoscope. There's going to be remedies. It's, it's the works. So that way, I can keep the tarot here at Eat, Read, Love and then... I would go to Astro Unity for your astrology, the one-stop astrology channel, basically. Okay, so I'm probably like a Leo who has so many things to do right now, like a Leo, right? I gotta work, I gotta work. <laughs> so join me in the new channel um, for astrology. You guys have been wonderful here at Eat Read Love. I am so blessed and so thankful for people who has joined me um, here doing my tarot. And I hope to see you in my next journey, in my next chapter in Astro Unity. Now, two channels. Yes, Idrid Love stays, but a new child begins. Um, in, uh, in, uh, in Astro Unity, um, I will be uploading the love romance and romantic connection as the first, um, um, the first uh, horoscope over there prediction. And it's going to be a new feel. It's going to be a new thing. It's going to be everything new. The vibe, the feel, the energy. The sass will stay though. <laughs> so Leos, join me in my new channel as I end one chapter here at YouTube Love. Um, I will see you guys there.